Hello, St. Timothy's families and friends. It is really good to be with you today on this third Sunday in Lent. My name is Lisa, and I do not have Peter and Tom with me today, but I have you, and I'm so glad that you are here with me. Let's start with a word of prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God, thank you for the gift of a new day. Thank you for the season of Lent that calls us to come and return to you to prepare our hearts for Easter's joy. Thank you for Jesus showing us the way to you. Be with us now and send your Holy Spirit. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, dear friends, on this third Sunday in Lent, can you believe that? We are almost to Easter. It's almost here. Today is a day that I actually looked for our, our um, reading in the Spark Story Bible, and it doesn't show up. I wondered why. This comes from John, the second chapter of John. When Jesus himself, he goes to the temple, kind of like how we go to church, and he sees things that are happening that are things that make him angry. So Jesus got mad. Do you ever get mad? Sometimes I get mad. It's all part of being human. And sometimes like we're mad and like, then we're like, oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be mad. But other times we're mad because things need to change because things aren't right. And so that's what was happening with Jesus in the second chapter of John. He went in the temple and they were like selling things in the temple and they were just kind of like making it like be like a Kroger or a Target or a Walmart. I mean, they were just having people come and go and, and it just didn't feel holy. It didn't feel sacred. It didn't feel like a place of prayer and a place where you can kind of come and bring all of yourself to God. It just felt very chaotic in the temple. And do you know what Jesus did? He got so mad, he flipped over a table. Wow. I've never done that before, have you? I've never gotten so mad that I flip over table, he must have been pretty upset. And I think the reason he was upset was because people were missing the point of why were they were there. You go to the temple to worship God, to give God thanks, to sing God's praises, to ask God for help, to be with others and to be reminded of these stories. And Jesus was seeing that things were going on there that weren't right. And so he got mad and that madness helped to change things at the temple. I wonder if this is a great reminder for us for when we do perhaps go back to church in person. Wouldn't that be fun to be able to actually be with each other in person? Um, when that day comes to be reminded of what that church is, it's a place that set apart for us to grow deeper and more connected with God and deeper and more connected with our neighbors. A place where we can go and be reminded of God's promises and these stories and also a place where we are able to serve, not only serve God, but serve each other. And so when we go back into church, um, let's be just really mindful of that and be thinking about Jesus when he was in the temple and to know that that is a is this very special place that we haven't been able to go to for a long time. But when we return, um, not to just like run around and be crazy, but to like, wow, wow, God, thank you. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to 
see the beautiful colors of the stained glass window shining through as we walk up toward the altar. I can't wait to be able to, to see you in person and to come together in prayer. I can't wait to just be in that space where we're, we know that we are, are loved by God and that we love each other. But the amazing thing that has happened through this whole COVID time is that we found out that God is still with us, whether we're in the temple or not. We found out that God is still with us, whether we're in the church or not. We know that God is in our hearts, that Jesus is in our hearts and loves us. So if we are able to go back, that's great. And if we need to stay away for a little longer to keep everybody safe, that's okay too. And some people might not feel comfortable going back in person. They might not be ready yet. They might be still worried about COVID and we totally understand that. And so we're gonna continue doing these videos. We're gonna continue sharing the good news. We're gonna continue having our worship be online because it's really important to stay connected no matter if we're in person or if we're not. So dear hearts, let's remember today um, that it's okay. It's okay to get mad. Sometimes we do get mad because things need to change. Something needs to be different. And other times when we just get mad to be mad, well, maybe we need to change. So in those times, just pray to God, help guide me, God. And God will show you the way. Hmm. If you would, get out your prayer rock for a time of prayer. Lord, listen to your children praying. Lord, send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your children praying. Send us love, send us power, send us grace. Dear God, thank you for the season of Lent for this time that helps us to return to you. We need you, God. We know we need you. We can't help ourselves. We get lost without you. And we thank you for Jesus, who reminds us at times it's okay to be mad when things need to change. Be with us this week with all that we're feeling and all that we're facing. Help us always to trust in you, that you are with us, no matter if we're at home or outside or at church or at school or wherever. Thank you for the grown-ups who love us. Be with all the people who are sick and who are hurting today be with all the people who are caring for them. Thank you, God, for our church that unites us and be with everyone watching. We pray this, actually, now it's your turn. I don't have Tom here to remind me. So now it's your turn to offer up your prayers. So God, hear our prayer this day and always. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, if you do want to find a scripture reading in the Spark Story Bible, there is one that talks about anger. And Jesus had a sermon about anger um, in the Gospel of Matthew. So this one is pretty close. It talks about being angry and mad. And if you want to, you can turn to page... 272. 
272, where Jesus teaches about anger. So if you could, get your Spark Story Bible out, and we'll just read through that story. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Page 272. Jesus teaches about anger. Our Bible's kind of falling apart. That happens. Jesus teaches about anger. One day Jesus was teaching a crowd of people. He explained some very good ways to treat others with love and respect. Do not call other people names, Jesus said. He explained that using unkind names hurts people's feelings. Jesus continued, if you are angry with someone, talk to them about what makes you angry. Work the problem out and forgive each other. Forgiveness shows love. The people nodded, listening to what Jesus was saying. Treat your family members and friends politely and kindly, Jesus said. Kindness and respect are important. Use God's name respectfully, too. Use it only for worship and to be praised. God's name is special. Wow. Jesus had great things to tell the people. How wonderful the world would be if everyone followed Jesus' words. I love that because it helps us to realize we're going to get angry. And so when we're angry, Jesus reminds us to talk to the person we're angry at instead of to talking someone else or anything like that, but to go directly to that person and say why you're angry. And for you guys to talk it through, that's very important. And always remember to live in forgiveness. Forgiveness. Sometimes we make mistakes and we forgive one another. I'm sorry. I forgive you. Those are very simple but very important words when we do things that hurt other people. Forgiveness shows love, and Jesus shows us that way of love. I love how he also talks about how God's name is special, and so we don't go around saying, oh God, or anything like that. We use God's name to honor God and say, thank you, God. I love you, God. Help me, God. Thank you, Jesus, for reminding us. Oh, this question at the bottom says, make angry faces in the mirror. Angry faces. What makes you angry? What makes you angry? Not getting the same thing that a brother or sister gets? Not getting what you want? Being told no? What makes you angry? Seeing other people who are hurting, that kind of makes me angry and sad sometimes. Talk to someone about how to turn your anger into love. That's a great, great suggestion. All right, dear friends, it was so great to be with you today. I hope that you have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. But for now... Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.